Hey guys, this is Basketball Star 1130. I'm back with my 2020-2021 NFL record predictions. Today we are doing the Philadelphia Eagles. Sorry that I haven't done this in a couple weeks. I've just been really busy and I've been swimming and playing basketball outside a lot. Um, but now I'm back. Hopefully I'll give you guys two videos a day. So this one and then we'll wrap up the NFC East with the Redskins one after this. So anyway, let's get started. A little information about the Philadelphia Eagles as we always do here. Um, I'd like to give a little, you know, blurb about the NFL teams before we start. Um, Carson Wentz, he's, he gets injured a lot, okay? So, he was rookie year. He, okay, so he was the number two pick. He went number two to the Eagles in the 2016 draft right after the Rams, Jer Rams drafted Jared Goff, number one. So, his rookie year, he was kind of disappointing. But then his sophomore year, he exploded. He looked like that. He was real, t like, real talk MVP conversation. Um... He's in the MVP conversation, then he got hurt, and then good old Nick Foles came in and led them to the Super Bowl win, and Nick Foles was the MVP because he tore his UCL. Carson Wentz did it. And then the next year, um, the next year, the, so that, the Super Bowl year was the 17-18 season. So the next year, the 18-19 season, um, Nick, that was the year the Rams and Patriots were in the Super Bowl. Uh, but the... Let's see, Carson Wentz got hurt for the playoffs again, and Nick Foles um, beat the Bears for them in a, in a comeback victory, and he almost beat the Saints in the divisional round to lead them to the NFC Championship, but they ultimately lost the Saints in the divisional round, so they didn't get to the NFC Championship. But um, And then Nick Foles left to the Jaguars in free agency after that year, that offseason. Now he's on the he got traded to the Bears. We'll see if him or Mitchell Trubisky starts, I think it's Nick Foles, but that's the topic for another day, for another video soon. Um, But then they didn't have Nick Foles as backup quarterback. So once again, this year when Carson Wentz was against the Seattle Seahawks in the wild card round, the Seahawks ended up beating the Eagles, but Carson Wentz got hurt again during that game in Josh McCown, a four-year-old Josh McCown had to come in. He was playing with a torn hamstring at 40 years old, so that's not very good. Um, but anyway, Carson Wentz, let's see if he can bounce back this year. He has talent. He's shown flashes. Him and Dak Prescott are very similar in talent. I just think Dak Prescott is a little better. Colin Coward overrates Carson Wentz a lot. Anyway, um, this Eagles defense wasn't as good as it once was, but still good. Their secondary is not very good at all. I mean, Craven LeBlanc. If Craven LeBlanc is your maybe your best um, secondary piece, then there's a problem. But they have Rodney McLeod and Malcolm Jenkins that left. They didn't pick up his option, so he signed with the New Orleans Saints, returned to them. Um, his offense line, Jason Kelsey, I think, will retire after this year. Um, and Jason Peters is on that offensive line as well. They have a style of offensive line. The defensive line, they have Fletcher Cox, a defensive tackle, Nigel Bradham, former Buffalo Bill. Um, my team, former Buffalo Bill, uh, at linebacker. And then that Gruger Hill guy, he's okay, I guess. Anyway, um, with their secondaries real bad. The wide receivers, Alshon Jeffrey, there was talk of them cutting, releasing, or trading him. I'm not sure, though. But they have too many wide receivers. I mean, they drafted, like, John Hightower. Three wide receivers, John Hightower. They did Jalen Rieger in the second round. Rager, Rieger, whatever. Jalen Rieger in the first round, not second round. Jalen Rieger in the first round of the draft. Drafted John Hightower. They drafted, um... I forgot the guy's name, but his first name is Quintez, I think. Yeah, Quintez. I forgot his first name. I'll have to look it up in a minute here. But um, so yeah, but they got a in in the hit up to JJ Arcega Whiteside last year. They drafted Jalen Hurts, which was a questionable move. To Carson Wentz isn't in trouble. He'll be a backup, and they move him in the future. And then they drafted JJ. Like I said, JJ Arcega Whiteside last year from Stanford, the big body, tall guy. He's physical, and they have Deshaun Jackson and Nelson Aguilar. I don't think they have him anymore. No, he left last year, last off season or this off season, I think. Anyway, that's a lot. Um, but yeah, I think this team can be very solid. Anyway, it's a battle between him, them and the Cowboys for NFC East, and I think it will be like that for years to come. Carson Wentz versus Dak Prescott will be a great quarterback rival rivalry. Anyway, let's get to the actual record prediction. I know that was a little long. Sorry for going off on a tangent there, but I just wanted to explain things. Anyway, um, so. Let's see. They, Sorry, I had to turn the brightness up. At Redskins, week one, I think the Eagles will sweep the Redskins home in a way, so the Eagles start 1-0. I don't believe in Dwayne Haskins, like, whatsoever. There was rumors last year of maybe it was just smoke and fake. Maybe it was just smoke, but there was rumors of the Redskins drafting Tua Tagovailoa at number two, but they stayed put and didn't trade either. They drafted Chase Young, which was a good choice, so... 
Um, the Redskins start 0-1. Um, next, er, sorry. <laughs> so, the Redskins would be 0-1 here, but the Eagles start 1-0. Next versus Rams. Since the Eagles are home, again, I'm going to give the Eagles 2-0. If the Rams were home, it would still be close, but I would take the Rams. I know I've since the Eagles are home, I'm going to take the Eagles. So the Eagles start 2-0. I think the Rams, um, with, like, I've bashed their second, not their second, I've bashed their front office. They released Todd Gurley and everything. You know, I've talked about a 100 different times, times on this channel and in the record predictions. So, yeah, the Eagles start 2-0. Next versus Bengals, easy win, 3-0. I think Joe Burrow, even though secondary isn't too good, I think Joe Burrow will be amazing in his first year, but, um, Maybe not amazing, but great. But I think the Eagles get the win here. More experienced quarterback, more experienced team all around, more veterans. That Bengals team is young, so is that defense. I think that Dino, that defense to his, at defense tackle Geno Atkins and Carlos Dunlap. But, yeah, Eagles start 3-0. Next, at 49ers, the Eagles will have to tell, travel across country t- from Pennsylvania to California. So I think the Eagles first lost 3-1. They're still looking pretty good, though. So the Eagles start go 3-1 and one in the season. Next at Steelers, this won't be hard because they're both in Pennsylvania, but if the Eagles were home, I would take the Eagles. But it's really hard to play at Heinz Field. Yeah, Heinz Field. The name of the Steelers Stadium. It's really hard to play there, so I'm going to say the Eagles lose here. I think Ben Roethlisberger will bounce back maybe and then I retire this year or the next. So the Eagles move to 3-2. and two, two losses in a row. Next versus Ravens. Oh, this is tough. Just because the Eagles are home here, I'm going to... If the Ravens were home, I would take the Ravens. But since the Eagles are home here, I'm going to give the Eagles the benefit of the doubt. Home field advantage. So the Eagles are 4-2. and two. I think the Eagles will defensively will contain Lamar Jackson rushing. But I think the Ravens receivers will go off in the secondary. But the, and I think the Eagles win. So they get their fourth win of the season. So the Eagles move to 4-2. and two. Next versus Giants. Like I, I think the Eagles will sweep the Giants both times home and away, just like they're sweeping the Redskins. So I don't think the Giants are that good. They got Saquon Barkley. I don't believe in Daniel Jones, just like I don't believe in Dwayne Haskins. The NFC East quarterbacks, it's dominated by Dak Prescott and Carson Wentz. Daniel Jones and Dwayne Haskins. Maybe Daniel Jones is just a little better, but I don't think either of them are that good. They got Saquon Barkley. But I think the Eagles will be able to throw all over this Giants secondary and defense. Their secondary is terrible. The Giants secondary. So the Eagles move to five and two on the season. Next versus Cowboys. If you saw my Cowboys video, if you saw my Cowboys record prediction video, I had the Cowboys splitting with the Eagles home and away. So the Eagles will split with the Cowboys here. The Eagles will win their home game. Cowboys will win their home game. The Eagles move to six and two in the year. They're looking really good. I know I'm really high on them, but I think they got a lot of talent this year. Next by week at Giants. Like I said. I think they'll sweep sweep the Giants home and away, so the Eagles go seven and two. Next at Browns, I'm gonna give the even this loss won't matter much because it's NFC versus AFC, but I'm gonna give the Browns here because just because the Eagles have to lose at some point, right? So um, the Eagles move to seven and three. I don't if Baker Mayfield could is borderline bust. I heard from Max Home, and I think he is. They can move on from him after this season. So um. We'll see. Seven and three. Next versus Seahawks. Even though the Eagles are at home, um, I think the Seahawks will win this. So the Eagles move to seven and four. Again, Russell Wilson, Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, Chris Carson, Rashad Penny. Maybe bring back Marshawn Lynch. Um, so yeah, I think the Eagles moved to seven and four, fourth loss this season. Next at Packers, just because the Packers are home, so the Eagles lose. So I'm gonna go seven and five. If again, if the Eagles were home, I would pick the Eagles, but the Packers win seven and five. So that's three losses in a row for the Eagles, seven and five. Next versus Saints. Just because the Eagles are home after three losses in a row, I think they get it done here. So the Eagles move to 8-5. and five. If the Saints are home, I would pick a lot of these NFC teams. Home field advantage factors in, factors in. If the Saints were home, I would pick the Saints. But So Eagles move to 8-5. and five. Next, at Cardinals. Cardinals, see, I, I think the Cardinals will get a sneaky win here. So the Eagles move to 8-6 and six in the year. Yeah, the Eagles move to eight and six on the year. Next at Cowboys, um, I think the Cowboys, um, win here. Like I said, they'll split home and away. So the Cowboys win here with Dak Prescott and Zeke Elliott. So the Eagles move to eight and seven here. So that's two losses in a row. Next versus Redskins, um, like I said, they'll sweep the Redskins and the Giants. So, uh, yeah. So the Eagles finished nine and seven. So to recap the. 
against their division opponents. They split with the Cowboys home and away, and they they sweep the Giants and Redskins home and away. Uh, so, yeah, tell me what you guys think below. Philadelphia Eagles go 9-7 in my opinion. This is Best Girl Star 1130. Bye.